All right, it's 2023 and it's time for a new PC build. Um, so the last build I did was in 2010, so about 13 years ago. It's, it's definitely time for an upgrade. Um, I actually haven't even been using that computer for the past couple of years. I've been using this Mac Mini exclusively. Um, but yeah, with Counter-Strike 2 coming out in the summer, um, it's time to um, get back to a PC and a, a, a computer I can play um, some pretty cool games on. So. What I'm doing is I'm planning to keep this a relatively um, budget friendly. So I'm trying to aim for under a thousand dollars and I want to keep it um, low profile and relatively small. So what the plan is, is I'm going to build this in four different phases. So each week I'm going to go to micro center and buy these different components. Um, I've already completed phase one. So last Friday I went to micro center and picked up the case and power supply. Um, so I went with a micro ATX case. So it's this Lee and Lee, uh, and it's really cheap. It's 50, uh, 55 bucks. Um, so I got this and you know, it has great reviews. It, it is very small, um, but it's, it's not so small that I can't fit uh, standard parts in it. So, um, can't really go wrong with this. It's really cheap. Um, they did have, when I was there, they had an open box one for, I think like 40 bucks, but I, I decided to go with, uh, with the new one for 55. Um, so yeah, super cheap with that and then for a power supply so power supplies are really important i, I don't like to cheap out with these um, and i wanted to get a modular power supply so i was talking with my cousin and he suggested i go with a modular power supply um, just because they're cleaner and i agree they look uh, a lot nicer and easier to keep track of 650 watts um, should be plenty for what i'm doing um, and yeah, there's the, the modularity of it. And um, yeah, can't really go wrong with this. So yeah, that's what I got this past Friday. Um, and this upcoming Friday, this is going to be the motherboard and CPU. And since I have a micro center close by, I'm planning to just do one of their combo deals that they have. Um, so I'm an AMD fan. Uh, my my last computer was an AMD Phenom 2 X6 1090T. I can't believe I still remember all that, but that's what it was. Um, it lasted, it's still working actually. So I like AMD, so I want to stick with AMD. Um, Ryzen 5 seems to be what I, uh, <clears throat> the research I've done seems to be what I'm interested in. Now, the question is what combo do I want? So I've kind of landed on the 5600 as the CPU. Um, for a moment, I was considering the 5700G with, um, the integrated graphics and then I was just going to skip the graphics card totally but I feel like I would be um, underwhelmed with that because you know I want to be able to play the best games with high settings so I'm kind of going to eliminate this choice right now actually the more I think about it so I'm just going to strike that out and now it's between these three uh, combos so I'm just going to open these up and we'll take a look and I'm not really an expert with all of, I don't keep up with everything in the computer world. So a lot of this stuff is gonna go over my head, but these are all the same um, socket. So this is the AM, um, AM4 socket. So the AM5 socket is out, I believe, and that's what the newer CPUs are using. So all these AM4s are, are cheaper now. Um, and I wanna capitalize on that. And uh, since they're cheap, I just wanna get them because this is definitely gonna be an upgrade for me either way. Um, so yeah, this is the one that has this, um, ACES B55M. So they all actually have B55M motherboards. So that's good. They all have PCI four, which is, uh, something to consider. And apart from that, I really haven't done much research on what's, you know, the differences between these motherboards. Um, so I might dig in a little bit more, but they look very similar to me. Um, so I might honestly go with the cheaper one unless, um, someone points out a reason not to, or if there's a glaring reason I can tell why you wouldn't want to get this. Um, I know one of these, I think the more expensive one has Wi-Fi built in this one, which, you know, that's kind of cool. Um, and I do notice that this particular motherboard has a lot more reviews on micro centers website. Um, so just if you bought it standalone, it's 130 and there's, you know, great reviews for this. Whereas the gigabyte one, <laughs> there's no reviews. Um, so that's a little concerning. Let me just check this, this other one here real fast. 
uh, micro center. Yeah, no reviews as well. So that's definitely something to consider. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens on Friday when I go to micro center. I'm probably just going to make, you know, a, a quick decision, game time decision when I'm there, what makes the most sense. But those are the options I'm considering right now for the CPU and motherboard. All right, so that'll be next Friday. And then phase three, oh, I forgot to bold this. Why is it not bolding? All right, so that's phase two. Phase three is the hard drive. So this is another um, sort of tricky decision I'm gonna need to make. So I definitely wanna go with an NVMe drive. Um, I have never had one before. I, my last computer was just a, a SATA SSD. So there have been some improvements in SSD technology, and now there are these NVMe drives. Um, and they're, you know, Samsung's a big player in the game now, and they are relatively cheap. Like this 97, 970 Evo Plus, which is basically like a classic, and a lot of people recommend it, and it has a ton of good reviews, but a terabyte for $59, that's a great deal. Super fast, but this is sort of last generation. It's PCI generation three. Um, so that's something to consider. Um, then the 990 Pro NVMe, this is basically the, the latest and greatest. Um, still, this is PCI 4, so you know it's faster um, with respect to, I guess, writing and reading. So you can see here, these values are increased. But I was doing some research online and, and a lot of people are saying, in reality, like you're not even gonna be able to really tell the difference unless you're doing a particular task that, um, you know, is really read write heavy, like editing videos or copying tons and tons of large files. Um, but just for everyday use and gaming, I, uh, I'm not sure if I would see the benefit with, with this drive, especially for that price increase. Um, so that's the 990, then they have the 980. So this is kind of, I guess, in between the 970 and 990, obviously, but, um, this, this might be the sweet spot between the two. It's a good price. We're saving $64, saving 50 on that one, 60 on this one. So this one, I guess, you know, you're saving the most money. This is PCI four. So I, I do like that. So yeah, might want to go with that one just because it's kind of in between. It's using PCI four. Um, let me just highlight that for now. And it's not too expensive. And then the other option is if I just want to go super cheap, if I'm really trying to save money, I can just go with this Inland. So Inland is like Micro Center's um, house brand. Um, so this is PCI4, but we see these read writes are slower. Let me see what the 970, so they're even slower than the 970 at PCI3. So that's interesting. I, I just, I just uh, realized that now when, when I'm recording this video. Oh no, this is also PCI-3. All right, they're both PCI-3. So yeah, that's the big question here is do I wanna go PCI-3 or four? And I think the answer is four. And I don't think I need the latest and greatest. I think this will suffice. So let's pretend I'm gonna purchase this one. So $75. Um, yeah, 75 even, okay. Um, yep, so that's the uh, hard drive. So phase three is gonna be hard drive and RAM at the same time. So RAM, I'm, I'm kind of set with G-Skill. I've used G-Skill in the past. And uh, the big question is, do I want 16 or 32 gigs? Um, we'll see what the budget um, has, you know, how much money I have left. I think 16 would be fine, honestly, for gaming. Um, but I, I wanna run them in dual, config, uh, dual, dual channel config. So uh, I believe these motherboards have four RAM slots. I'm gonna use two in like a staggered position and that um, gives you better performance from what I understand. Um, so either I get two eight gigabyte sticks or two, uh, two 16. Uh, let me see how much this was, 72.99. Yeah, um, that'll be a game time decision. And then, so that would be, uh, April 14th, and then the last phase is um, the GPU. So this, I'm just gonna buy the GPU because these are pricey. So I'll just get that by itself. Um, yeah, this is gonna be, this is the trickiest decision, uh, I believe. So uh, I've done a lot of research and it seems like the uh, Radeon RX 6700 XT is like kind of um, a good deal. 
at this time. Um, 400 bucks, 12 gigs of RAM. Um, so the thing I need to consider with my case is the, um, the size, the actual dimensions of the graphics card. So the max video card length I can have is 10.63 inches or 270 millimeters. So that's why I'm tracking the millimeters um, when I list these graphics cards. Um, so this one, it, it seems like it would fit 260 millimeter. That gives me 10 millimeters of uh, clearance to work with. That uh, seems like enough. Um, these are both well under, and then this one is uh, really close, 269. So that might even be, that might be so close that I might not even consider it, just because um, I don't want to. I don't want it to be that close, actually. So I'll probably strike that one out. Um, so that, it kind of limits me, but I, I'm kind of glad because if I didn't have a limit, there would be so many more cards to choose from and it would just confuse me even more. So I'm glad that I'm kind of, um, forcing a restriction on myself with my case size. Um, so I guess this is what I would want. This is on my wish list if the budget permits. Um, then we have the GeForce, um, 3060. So... Uh, you know, this is a, a pretty popular card, great reviews, lots of reviews, uh, PCI-4, and decent price, I guess. But from what I read online, this blows it out of the water performance-wise. Um, but this is an NVIDIA, and um, if you like NVIDIA, some might want to go with that. And then this is just a cheaper option, the 6650 XT. Um, I think I still need to decide how much gaming uh, performance I want. So I definitely want to be able to play all 1080p at high settings. Um, now, whether I want 1440 or 4K, that's another discussion. Um, I think first I need to get a new monitor because I don't have uh, 144 hertz. I have 60 hertz. So I don't think I'm going to include the new monitor in this computer build. So I think for now, I probably will just stick with 1080 gaming. Um, so I can probably get away with something not as powerful as this, but I kind of want to future proof it. So I might go with the 6700. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the plan. And you can see here, this estimated total is well under a thousand dollars. It's pretty impressive. Uh, I feel like I might be forgetting something, honestly, but, um, yeah, so that, oh, I forgot to include this price. So let's just say 4299, 882. It's not bad. Let's try a seventy-two ninety-nine. All right, that's that's okay. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Um, so yeah, tune in every week. I'll be making a video. Um, I'm also going to, you know, show me opening these components and installing them. Um, so I'll do that here in a little bit for the case and the power supply, and then um, yeah, kind of it'll just be a, a journey that I, I document with the video. Um, and yeah, hopefully, uh, it's fun to watch. Um, yeah, I don't have all the answers, but, um, it's just kind of fun to, to talk about this stuff and, um, make videos out of it. So yeah, hopefully that was interesting. And, um, maybe if, if you're interested in building a new computer at this time, it's, uh, March, 2023, uh, I think it's a good time to build a computer. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next video. All right. So this is phase one of the 2023 PC build. We have the Lee and Lee. Land Cool 170M uh, case. So this is a micro ATX case. So it was 55 bucks, super cheap. And then the second component we're going to be installing today is the EVGA 650 GT Supernova uh, 650 watt power supply. Um, so yeah, today all we're going to do is just open these up and uh, install a power supply into the case, and uh, we'll take it from there. So let's just jump right in and uh, open this up.
the cables here, so this is the modular power supply, so we have all these cables not plugged into the power supply yet. And here's the actual power supply. So the first step here is just unscrewing the screws for the case um, just so we can uh, get into the case. And it slides off nice and easily. All right, I had to switch over to the iPhone for recording this. Um, so yeah, here we're actually trying to put the power supply in and uh, I'm having trouble getting it to fit in here. Um, so I tried it a bunch of different angles and it looks like you know that was getting in the way. So um, ended up having to unscrew this little metal thing here. And I wasn't sure at first what this even was for, um, but I think it's for just hiding the cables basically. So just unscrewed this and that gave me um, Give me enough clearance to get the power supply um, to fit in there. So yeah, just pulled that back carefully. I almost felt like I bent it a little bit, but um, just don't pull that back too far or it might snap off. Um, so yeah, once I removed that, it, it fit in nicely. And here we're just uh, screwing in the power supply. These are all the um, modular wire so this is what's going to be connected to the to the components so the motherboard the graphics card and everything else so for now i just wanted to install the motherboard cable and then also um, the cpu cable and for the graphics I'm, I'm not sure exactly what power components i'm going to need for the graphics card yet so i, I left that one out for now um, but yeah this is just some footage of me uh, struggling to get this in because it's hard to see, but there, there's the motherboard cable, and uh, I'm just fishing it through that little um, thing that I think is supposed to just hide the wires. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, this was week one, phase one. Um, didn't take very long. It was pretty fun. Um, I haven't built a computer in a while, so it was nice um, playing around with this stuff. And yeah. If that was, uh, hopefully that was helpful in, in some way. If, if not, maybe it was just entertaining. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, uh, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys next week.